In this video, I'm going to show you how to import any of my Cloud and Sky kits inside of Photoshop. Now, this assumes that you've already downloaded the Cloud kits and that you've also double clicked on the zip file and extracted the folders that contain the clouds. And then now what we're going to do, we're going to go into Photoshop and open up an image that you want to work on and then go under edit and then click on sky replacement. And then this is just going to automatically open up the last cloud uh, that you uh, sky that you used. Just click on that and you can adjust the size of this box here in the lower right hand corner, make that bigger or smaller if you want. What we're going to do is we're going to import a whole folder, so a whole folder of clouds. And what I'm going to do is click on new group down here. So it's going to create a new sky group. And I'm going to happen to be bringing in my Seuss Desert Skies. Now this is from my Desert Sky Cloud Kit. If you happen to have one of my other cloud kits, like my Blue Sky Cloud Kit or my Ultimate 400 Cloud Kit, this process is going to be the same. You'll just be importing different clouds. Let me go ahead and click on OK. And that actually brought that into my testing folder. So let's move that out of there, drag that out, and we'll just close that testing folder. And now this is active, the Seuss Desert Skies folder group that I just created. Now I'm gonna click on this plus icon, and then that's gonna open up my finder window, or if you're on a computer, or if you're on a Windows computer, it'll open up the Windows Explorer. And then you're just gonna to navigate to where you saved the clouds that you downloaded from me. And then just go ahead and select all of those in that folder. And let me go ahead and grab all of those. And then you don't need to include the readme PDF on that. So just grab all of the image files and then click on open. And now what Photoshop is going to do, it's going to import all of these photos and create a new sky preset so that we're able to see all of the skies that were in that kit inside that folder. Okay, now that that has finished, we can see all 45 images have been imported right into the appropriate folder. And now we can just go ahead and if we wanted to do a sky replacement, just go ahead and click on one of these. And we are in business now to start working on sky replacement. If you wanted to add more, go ahead and we'll just collapse that. Go ahead and click on adding a new, uh, a new sky group and then repeat the process that we just did.